Kavi flower blooms once in eight years. And we are truly, truly lucky, if not blessed, to really have it, get the opportunity to see it as a part of the RISE Summit 2016, which happens once a year. So I guess we are not going to see this at another RISE Summit for another eight years. But I'm really pleased to welcome all of you to our annual RISE Summit 2016. An event that others call unconference, but I always say there are conferences, there are unconferences, and then there's rights. The reason I say this is because we have really tried to create a very unique format, a format that when we first started four years ago, people asked me, will this work? Will people actually come? And what will people say about this? Today, four years later, we're very confident it works. It works because the reason we have this is to really create dialogue, to build capacity, and above all, to create collaborations. And the way we do this is very simple. No panels, no presentations, just interactive formats that allow us to do what we promise as our tagline, breakthrough interactions for collective impact. We've hosted eight round tables, eight workshops, 16 chat tables, four social tours, a film festival, uh, stalls and display areas, and a media room for films to be shown. So I guess with all these and more, we can proudly say that we've had unlimited interactions happening which lead to hopefully outcomes and alliances that our participants take forward and integrate it back into their own programs, into their own organizations, and hopefully bring them back again next year to be a part of RISE once again. Thank you. Okay. So the RISE Summit is a four-day event uh, that has multiple interactive formats. Uh, the first two days are focused uh, in an integrated format where we have uh, roundtables uh, to promote collaboration. We have workshops to build capacity. And lastly, we have chat tables to encourage cross-sectoral dialogue. I think all of us work with, with a sense of passion with what we do and single-minded focus, which is really awesome. But at the same time, what also happens because of this is we work in silos. And there is a very, very critical need to bridge those silos. And to do that is really why we host the chat tables. Uh, this year we did this on the sustainable development goals because we thought they really give a wide canvas for people to come from very diverse fields and perhaps share their learnings, their experiences and also take away what, uh, what others have to contribute in the same way and go back to the organizations. Uh, the other big thing that is also a need in the society and in, in our um, sector is building capacity. I think there is a huge responsibility now on our shoulders thanks to the Companies Act that requires us to really, really work on uh, becoming more effective firstly in our programs but also to be very, very efficient in our functioning of our operations and our programs. And therefore, we have a series of workshops that were held to, uh, to kind of build capacity. So last but not the least, I think uh, there is a, a very critical need for us to leverage our strengths and resources. Uh, each one of us have a role to play in society. And somewhere along the line, uh, we, we tend to uh, kind of have a huge gap and there's a huge trust deficit that we see uh, that still exists, unfortunately. And I think there is a real need for us to also look at how can we partner, how can we work together, how can we reduce the trust deficit so that we can uh, obviously multiply our impact. And for that, we have round tables, again, in a very interactive format where, uh, as I said, no panels, no presentations. And the idea being that, you know, everyone can contribute, everyone can and, uh, exchange ideas and uh, most importantly as uh, some of the participants keep telling me what they like best about our round tables is there's no blame game going on over there even though there are all all different uh, stakeholder groups over there government academia 
corporate and of course the civil society i think that is our success that we we really in in get involved in the whole process of conversation and dialogue and the spirit of partnership rather than looking at uh, you know what is going wrong and why is somebody uh, doing something wrong so i think the whole aim is to look for uh, firstly output for sure uh, which comes immediately out of the uh, program but more importantly as far as possible to gain uh, outcomes and alliances in the future.